Welcome to the beginning of the video. No, it's not a coffee shot. It's me about to do something uh, hopefully pretty epic. I never found peace, but no one fighting a war. <sighs> Time to go uh, attempt a bench PR. Believe it or not, I've actually had worse, more embarrassing gym moments than what just happened. What can I say? I really, really despise my long arms. I really do. You're probably laughing at me right now. I'm laughing at it too. Um, everyone, it obviously I failed. I was pretty crappy. I am not gonna lie, pretty disappointed in the, in the fact that I didn't get my two plate bench, but you know what guys? I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna keep giving it my all. I have come so far, and I honestly, I don't give myself, I don't say that enough to myself. Whether you're in the gym, whether you're in other areas in life, just trying to better yourself, don't let one setback keep getting to you. You find a way to overcome that and get better. Over the past few months, I've gone through a tremendous change in my overall uh, way of life. The gym is, is, is a way of life for me. I started trying to gain strength a few months ago, six months ago, seven months ago, however long it was, and I was, I was starting from the bottom again, and I had to climb my way back up and keep uh, breaking through plateaus. I had to keep telling myself that I was able to do things like this. I was able to to uh, get better next week and just keep grinding and keep going. And, and honestly, guys, I haven't been doing as, as much as I should be doing in terms of uh, programming properly and all of that. I really just need to keep grinding and put my foot down and just keep hammering forward. That's all it is, everybody, is just knowing what to do. I've been lifting weights for almost eight years now, and uh, it's, it's, it's always been a constant this, whatever that is. The bench is something I've never really excelled at, so never shy away from things you're not good at. Keep working at it and getting better. I'm gonna shut up now, go home, probably stream on Twitch, and eat some food. All right, guys, so a few months ago, my friend Riley, Riley DeVoe, contacted me, and Riley's a really cool guy. I met him back in 2015. Riley started a company called Trinity for Change, and it's really cool because he makes his own custom beanies, and I've been getting into beanies lately, so I'm a huge fan of what Riley's doing, and uh, the fact that he's campaigning for mental health, that's what his a whole campaign is really all about. It's all about mental health awareness and everything. So apparently uh, every beanie and, and article of clothing that's purchased goes directly to mental health or a portion of it does. So you guys can get all the details down in the description below, including where to get one of these. But I wanted to get a beanie and uh, yeah, guys, like I love, ooh, this is actually really, really comfortable too. And it's cool because he has like the, the logo is like right there and I like where the logos sit. So I just want to give a big shout out to Riley and uh, Trinity for Change, which is his company and everything. So I can rock this, man. Shout out to you, Riley. And uh, yeah, like I said, guys, go check out Trinity for Change. The information will be in the description below. Guys, well, the uh, salad game is strong tonight. We have some cabbage. We have some top ramen. You guys, if, if you guys always ask me, Eric, why do you put top ramen on your salad? It's because it adds a nice little crunch and it's delicious and nutritious, sort of. Actually, not at all because top ramen is not remotely nutritious at all. But it tastes absolutely amazing. We're doing a live stream. Wait, you can now actually add people to live streams now, so you guys can say hi to yourselves. Well, if Nick would accept my request. Oh. Oh shit! My man is here! My man is here! I'm just kidding. Next, next boobs. Oh! Let's have some fun. So one of the coolest things about uh, doing challenges and everything, it, it's cool to do challenges. Let me just put it that way. But it's what you guys send me after the challenges, which I love the most. Shout out to Israel. You eat it all when you're in San Diego. Eat it all. And then it's just me. Well guys, it's time to get on with the rest of the day. Hi Eric, 
Good luck. I did the challenge, but thank you, sir. This is showed you to one of my friends, Mom, and he, she was freaking out how skinny you are. She's like, why does he eat so much food? But look how skinny he is. I'm just like, you make me hungry at 3 a.m. though, so it's not nice. Thank you for making me alone. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Now it's time to go to the gym. <laughs> one more. Hold on. One more. This one just came in. What's up, Eric? Keep it up, bro. My man, he's got to be like not even eight years old. Am I, what's on my Christmas list? Rent checks for a year, but we can't always get what we wish for. The next day. What's going on, guys? So it is the day after I, uh, well, first of all, can we just take a gander at that mug? Ooh, that mug. And the day after, two days after the uh, KFC menu challenge. I have to say everybody, out of all the menu challenges that I've done, that has been the most enjoyable for me. Suffering was totally worth it the day afterwards. I felt like garbage with all that sodium and fat, but it, would, it just tasted amazing. Now I got some pretty interesting comments on that video. I feel like when I do these menu challenges, it, it draws all the, the, the weirdos and the complete amazing people out of the woodwork. So let's highlight a few of them. Oh, and it's also flagged as not advertiser friendly. This is like the fourth one in a row. I don't know what's going on, but uh, thank you, YouTube. Thank you. Why does this guy suck more and more with each video? Ride a bike and just suck on top of ass on top of genuine suck. It's just mind bending. Why do people continue to watch more videos after more videos if I suck? You would think like, I, like logically, if, if the first video sucks, then why would you keep clicking on more of them? Joke's on you, pal, joke's on you. Fucking love every video. I love the weightlifting parts. My eight-year-old little girl asks every day when he comes to comes home from school if you have a new video. She loves it when you put the funny memes. I started powerlifting last week because of you. I'm not new to weightlifting, but I enjoy training so much more. Keep eating and keep lifting. You've made so much progress. You have you look amazing. Thank you, Skylin Odell. I love crabs. Matt Stoney would finish it in minutes. LOL. Probably, seeing as Matt Sonny's the number three eater in the world. He's a competitive eater for a living. I would think he would finish it in minutes. Simply love Eric the Electric. Well, thank you, nice girl. You are indeed very nice. The fact that you touch your phone while your hands are greasy is cringy as fuck. I would say that the overuse of the word cringe is more cringy as fuck in this day and age. Miguel, I can kind of see where you're coming from. Next time, I'll just be sure to have a thousand napkins the next time I eat 10,000 calories of KFC next to me. Just to, just to make you not cringe as much. Cringiest YouTuber out there. Thank you for watching, Riley. New title idea, how to have a heart attack in 17 minutes and 36 seconds. Again, Derek, logic. You're not gonna live very long. Your body's a temple and you're overfeeding with absolute trash just for publicity. You're not even your, 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 your. Not even eating real food, LMAO. I'm not necessarily hating. I just think what you're doing is just plain stupid. Do you have a functional brain? No common sense. Did you know processed foods cause cancer, right? Have fun living a short lifespan, but seems like someone needs to check out my checklist rides and all my numbers from a few videos ago. How does your gallbladder feel? Well, Nick, gallbladder? Yeah, it's pretty good. Instead of begging people for money, why don't you get a job? Begging people for money. I'm not really doing that. And my job? Welcome to it. It's awesome, isn't it? I love it, I love it. Such an annoying person. Are you putting some fat right now? Well, Cindy, considering I eat food on YouTube, pretty much do a challenge every week or every other week. I'll let you answer that question. Are you getting a bit porky? Your, your jaw doesn't look so 90 degree. Yes, Yard Star. I, I guess you can say when you're not riding your bike for four to five hours a day anymore and decide to, you know, 
have fun with life, enjoy food more. You don't look so 90 degree. I have no idea why you would put it that way, but I'm getting a bit porky. Porky, porky. I love people that aren't from America. <laughs> Great day today, got some new content to watch while I take a shit. <laughs> Thanks Eric, let's see. Shout out to you, Rob. I'm done now. And what do we have here? We'll be able to finish this in a respectable amount of time. Furious Pete, Randy Santel, Nathan Figura, Eric the Electric, LA Beast, Matt Stoney. Be sure to tag them. Let them know about the Subway 4 pounder. And let's see which one is man enough to take the full challenge. To knock it down like a savage. To be the boss of the YouTube hustle, to knock it down like a savage, my boy Dame Dross. Dame, I love you. But when you when you challenge me, I'm always prepared to take on that challenge. I'm gonna go and uh, do that today. How you doing? So it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a foot long. Those are not five dollars anymore. No, sure, no, we don't have five dollars for Italian herbs and cheese. Do you guys still have that? My friend's basically trying trying to get me to get a sandwich with everything on it. Really? So yeah, yeah. Cool. I'm a big eater. What can I say? The dare has been made. He ordered apparently everything, like every meat and everything. Right. So that's what I'm trying to do too. But his came out to be a little bit less than four pounds. Really? So yeah, I'm trying to like load it up as much as possible. All right. Yeah. Vegetables on it, Probably not the lettuce. I'm trying to make it look as like presentable as possible. The lettuce what? always kind of like just falls out. And it... I hope this looks good. Oh no, it already does. Trust me, you're good. You're doing a phenomenal job. Um, we'll do oregano, parmesan, salt and pepper. I appreciate you making this happen for me. Sweet. Now if this falls apart of the way home, I'm No, so it's sorry, totally man. fine. That's that's on me. Thanks a lot. Take care. Have a good day. This actually might be pushing five. That's good news for me. <sighs> well, everyone, that is some serious, serious sandwich girth. As you've already seen in the video, my boy, Dame Drops, decided to challenge me, LA Beast, Furious Pete, Matt Stoney, oh, and my boy, Nathan Figueroa, to the Everything Subway Challenge. Now, um, I don't think I'm gonna time myself. Eh, I'll screw it, I'll time myself. Yeah, this sandwich cost me a little less than $25, and we gotta prepare for carbs, miss. I know that I, I really keep challenges and everything usually separate from non-challenge videos, but I just, I decided to do a nice friendly little challenge. And Dana is my boy. If you guys haven't seen his channel yet, for whatever reason, you need to go check his channel out because he is the man. So let's eat some Subway. Eat fresh. All right guys, so we have everything in front of us. I got my chips here. I got my, uh, my Pringles. Whenever I'm Pringles, I have to make the single as a Pringle joke. So we're gonna do that, but we're saving these for cheats giving. So since we're not eating them, why not use it as a uh, convenient little timer mode, right? So uh, this is gonna be very, very casual. I'm not gonna be eating this like a complete savage because it's already like falling apart. I mean, I could do that, but I just won't. And that is, that is a, that is seriously a sandwich of girth. Dane was not kidding at all when he said that there's a ton of meat. Well, I guess that's to be expected when you order as much as I did, but let's do this. In three, two, and one. Hooray for meat. Oh my goodness. This is a meat fortress, guys. This is a meat fortress. There is so much meat on here. I have no idea what to say right now. No idea. Dude, I still have no idea why I got an egg. You know, for processed egg-like things, this isn't actually terrible. It's like there's like a roadblock of meat in this, dude. Seriously. It's the first time I've ever had a Subway sandwich. It's like more meat than bread. It's almost spicy. It's actually really, really good. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this is like a meat mountain. Now Dame, I love you, but you did not get any chips when you got your sandwich, man. So I have to, I have to disapprove of that. I'm disapproving of myself right now for not getting any cookies. Subway cookies are the best thing in the world. Lay's chips. I would have chosen salt and vinegar if they had them, but they didn't. Joke's on me. Let's 
screw it. I'm done with the timer. Annoying, 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 annoying. Do I want to eat these now? No, I don't. I don't want to eat them now. We have some, we have some cheese right there. Jalapenos. Ugh. Woo! It's actually a little bit hot. Cheers, mates. No idea why I said that. Now I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for not getting avocado on this. But you guys know my, my, my firm stance on avocado. If you don't, just know that I don't eat it. Whew. There's a lot of protein in here if I haven't said it already. Well, safe to say that this casual um, appetizer before dinner is almost done. And I just want to say thank you to everybody that's watched the video so far. I want to let you guys know that we've already started shopping for cheats giving. I started today actually. If you guys enjoyed the video, definitely hit that thumbs up button. Let me know if you are excited for cheats giving just as much as I am. Follow me on my social media if you haven't already. Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. You know the drill. Thanks again for watching the video, guys. Go right ahead.